What's up, HCW fans? This is Michael Montgomery, and I'm here with the second episode of HCW Survivor 2. Now, both teams were asked to elect three men apiece to go into a second six-man elimination match. This match will be for Team Immunity. Also, the two teams have finally elected names for themselves. As you see right now, this is uh, Team Alpha, their new team name being the A-Team. Representing them tonight is going to be Oshu Jack. He's in the front, Lino on the left, and the returning Gregory Black on the right. So technically this is going to be Gregory Black's debut match here in HCW 2.0. So we're wondering, fans, you know, is Team Beta going to be able to turn things around from that loss last week? You know, it was a clean sweep. Team Alpha had, you know, just totally wiped Team Beta out last week in the first community match. And as a result of that, AJ Hawk was eliminated. Loaded out of Team Beta, he didn't even have the opportunity to compete. Now we're wondering tonight if Team Beta can turn things around. You know, Smoke Dog has been trying to rally up the streets a little bit, and the Team Beta locker room is trying to get the morale, you know, going or whatever. And these are the three guys that Team Beta has elected. Ian Mitchell, there on the right, the British kid on the left, and in the center, Silas Mark. Now, Ian Mitchell and Silas Mark, you know, they, they've got a lot of tag team, you know, prowess about them. You know, uh, Ian Mitchell once a member of Prodigy, along, you know, probably about two years ago. He's been uh, teaming up with Chaser as of late. And, of course, you got Silas Mark, you know, part of Society X. The British kid hasn't really seen much tag team match. But, uh, anyhow, the underdog is what they're calling themselves. Team Beta's new name is the underdog. Now, I've got to say, you know, kind of... I guess in a way that these are the three guys that they decided to send out. It's almost like a role reversal from last week, you know, or last episode of Survivor, because Team Alpha sent out Osiris and Reckless Abandon, you know, and they actually beat the powerhouse trio that Team Beta had put together. Now this week, it seems to be the other way around, where you've got the A-Team, Team Alpha, sending out the power troops. And then Team Beta, otherwise known as the Underdog, sending out the high fly lightweight guys. And here we go, starting things off. It's going to be Osha Jack and the British Kid. Now, Osha Jack's a former HCW World Champion, a British Kid, former Cruiserweight Champion, and former Featherweight Champion. He actually retired both of those titles. The youngest champion in HCW history, right here. The British Kid, he's only 18 years old. And you can just see the size difference between Ocean Jack and the kid. I tell you, tonight, Team Beta are going to definitely have to rely on their speed and agility in this matchup here against the uh, bigger powerhouses here on Team Alpha. Now, this is what happened in the last episode of Survivor, like I said earlier. Now, Reckless Abandon were teamed up with Osiris, and they took on three big guys from uh, Team Beta. And, you know, we saw what happened there, so... Can Team Beta do the same thing here? Fans, you're going to have to uh, accept my apologies. I'm going to have to get used to the whole idea of the new names of these teams. Team Beta now being referred to as Team Underdog, while Team Alpha is now the A-Team. Here's Gregory Black now. He's in there with the British kids. We finally get to see him in action. Great to have him back at HCW. Gregory Black, he's a former multiple-time world champion in other call leagues. Took some time away from HCW, revamped his, guy, his character, you know, got some championships under his belt, and now he's back. And I definitely see wonderful things in the future with Gregory Black here in HCW. Gregory Black showing his strength right here as he took out the British kid. Now, British kid trying to get back into it. Gregory Black not allowing any of it. Now Black's going to go back over. He's tagging in Lino. Lino, a former HCW hardcore champion. British Kid, he's taking Lino down here. British Kid is going to try to tag in Ian Mitchell, a much needed tag here. Get Ian Mitchell into the matchup here. Fresh guy. Now Ian Mitchell working on Lino. Fans just want to throw in a plug real quick for OFW. OFW CPV is coming up. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. I think it's Dystopia, I believe is how he pronounces it. Uh, it's going to be coming out here, I think, in about 10 more days. 
Lions going to get to see the finals of the OFW World Title Tournament. They're down to the final four men in that tournament. We're going to find out who is going to be crowned OFW World Champion. You definitely do not want to miss that. The OFW Dystopia. You can come to the HCW forums at rcw-ofw.proboards.com for more information. Or you can subscribe to the OFW channel at OFW O9, OFW Online 09. I believe that's his YouTube channel. And right now we see a little bit of chaos mounting here. We've got Ian Mitchell in trouble. He's being assaulted by Gregory Black at the top of the screen here. And Lino now is getting into a little bit of a scuffle with Silas Marks at the bottom of the screen. Silas Marks tosses Lino back into the ring now. Now Lino working on the British kid. Ian Mitchell is the legal man right now. He's going to have to hurry up and get back in here. Get back in at the six count. Lino just took out the British kid. Lino going for a cover, but the British kid is not the legal man here. Lino a little bit confused here what's going on. A little bit of trickery here by the underdog. And now Ian Mitchell, that gave him a small opening here, but Lino right back on top of the offense. And drives Ian Mitchell down to the mat now. There's a double back panel to the back of the head, followed by a second. Fans, I just want to remind everyone, although A.J. Hawk was voted out last week, it is not 100% over for him. He still has one more opportunity, just like we did last year an HCW Survivor. The first six guys who are eliminated will come back on Episode 7 to compete in a six-man Battle Royal matchup where the winner will be reinstated back into the game. So A.J. Hawk, he's not completely gone yet. And he still has an opportunity to come back. And we saw last year Aaron Fletcher won that second chance battle royal, and he made it all the way to the final of HCW Survivor Season 1. So, one good thing about Survivor, I mean, it, it, anything can happen. You never know who's going to win the matches. You know, everything's done at random. You force a team up with people that you might not like, people you might not normally team with. Sometimes you are forced to get in the ring against friends, you know, ally members, stable members, tag team partners go at it sometimes. You know, all for that one opportunity to get a world title shot. That is what this is all about. And, of course, Osiris won last year and cashed in at Halloween Massacre, defeating Dagger to win his first HCW World Championship. Right now, Gregory Black and Ian Mitchell are going back and forth. Gregory Black going elbow to the face, followed by a huge uppercut. And there's a spear out of nowhere. And Gregory Black, total, totally in the control here, he tags in Lino, and Lino's going to tag Gregory Black back in. And now Gregory Black, I don't know what that was about. Gregory Black with a knife edge top, followed by a kick here. Got Ian Mitchell in a headlock here. And oh, man, huge belly-to-belly -belly suplex delivered by Gregory Black. And now Gregory Black's going to lift Ian Mitchell up here. Look, he might have been trying to go for a finisher. Ian Mitchell blocked it. Ian Mitchell was not able to block the spear. And now Gregory Black went for his finisher once again. Ian Mitchell able to reverse that. Gregory Black shoves Mitchell away now. And fans, is it just me? Or does Gregory Black look a lot like Simon Cowell here tonight? Sporting the black t-shirt and blue jeans. Got one of the judges from American Idol right here with him tonight. Oh my God, Gregory Black just got hit by a drop kick by the British kid. See, that, that's what the underdogs need to do here tonight. They have got to work together and keep the speed going about them here to keep these bigger men down. Now Gregory Black back in control here. He's going to toss Ian Mitchell into the corner now. Now he's just going to have his way with him. Knife edge chop. Silas Marks made his way over, and it's almost like Osha Jackson daring Silas to try something here. Here's the cover on the British kid. That's definitely not going to work here. Gregory Black pinning way too close to the underdog corner here. And Gregory Black has got British kid tosses him into the corner now, follows him in with a clothesline. Gregory Black went for another one, and then British kid now trying to fight out, but Osha Jackson got a hold of it. And look at the British kid now. British kid. Oh, man, he fought for a second there. He got caught by that running knee lift. But don't count the British kid out yet. He's still trying to fight. The British kid's got a big heart here. His heart's probably bigger than the weight of most of these powerhouses that he's up against right here tonight. The British kid definitely not giving up. 
Gregory Black, though, he reverses. British Kid's attempt here. British Kid reverses right back at him now. And British Kid with a running clothesline. And now the Kid making his way over to the corner of the underdogs. He's going to tag in a fresh Silas Marks. Let's see what Silas Marks can do here. It's the first time Silas Marks has been in a matchup. Went to try to kick Black. And Black just caught him and clotheslined him back down to the mat now. Now Gregory Black. Oh, man. Just took Silas Marks out. Here's a cover. Is this going to be enough? Silas Marks could be eliminated right here, fans. No, Silas Marks got kicked out right before the two. Now Gregory Black right back on the assault. Silas Marks tucks underneath that attack attempt. There's an elbow right in between the shoulder blades. That could not feel good. Now Silas Marks trying to regain the offense here. And, oh, man, phone to the eye right to Gregory Black now. Going to give Silas Marks a couple of seconds here to regroup. The Irish whip into the corner now. Silas Marks with a huge drop kick to the face. No one in HCW can deliver a drop kick better than Silas Marks. I'm sorry, fans. That man, he can get in the height and elevation like none other. And we saw Silas Marks and British Kid working together. That's what the team underdogs have got to do. They've got to work together. And now the British Kid, British Kid just kind of stalled for a minute there and gave Gregory Black the opportunity to get back into it. And now look at this. Oh, man, double underhook suplex. Here we go now. Gregory Black's going to tag in Osha Jack. Osha Jack doesn't want to get in here. He's going to tag Gregory Black. And Gregory Black tells Osha Jack to get in there. And look at this now. What the hell's going on? A lot of uh, miscommunication and arguing going on between Gregory Black and Osha Jacks right now on whether Osha Jacks is going to get into the match or not. Gregory Black got caught off guard. Now Gregory Black is pissed. He's going to take it out on Silas Marks. Now Gregory Black goes over once again, tells Osha Jack to get in there. Osha Jack finally accepts. There's an uppercut to Silas Mark. Now Silas Mark's trying to fight back with an elbow to the face. Osha Jack, like I said earlier, he's a former HCW world champion. Wanting to try to regain that world title. No better opportunity than to win HCW Survivor and get an opportunity for a world title match here in the future. Osha Jack with a huge headbutt at the back of the head of Silas Marks. Osha Jack working on Silas Marks now. British Kid getting involved. Silas Marks takes Osha Jack back out once again. Now Osha Jack got caught with a clothesline by Silas Marks. Osha Jack with a tag to Gregory Black. Gregory Black back in there now. Working against Silas Marks here. There's a kick right to the back of the leg. And Gregory Black, he's going to drag Silas Marks into the center of the ring. What's he got to land here?